Matt Scrubble, I'm Levi Merrick. Rick. I'm Calvin. Aaron. And we're back with Barry. Last time, Barry. one Barry. Barry, Barry. Uh, we're, we're, we're leaving. Yep. Right? Mm-hmm. Yes. So I came home, she's like, Pack your things. Barry? What? Leave it. Yep. Who's that? Dad, Tone Wee's here. Oh, that's who that was. Okay. Yeah. Come on. Hey, Boba. It was a tweet. <laughs> <laughs> Let's just quote episode two, Attack of the Clones, for the whole video. No, we won't. We had a poll last time. And the poll was, is the end sequence real? Because in the end sequence, we went to, like, a trailer in the middle of the, uh, the desert. Desert. Right? Well, of the field, at least. It was a home. Plains. Yeah, it didn't look like they were in the middle of, like, nothing. But there wasn't anything around. Yeah. Like, there was a farmstead, like, It seemed like nothing. Hey, five quiet, miles Pokemon. Away. Yeah, quiet, Pokemon. Uh, let's see. We had 37% of people say... No. Everyone else said yes. Hmm. Yes. Uh, Nate said, didn't really feel or look like a dream or hallucination. The detail about the kid not knowing about Call of Duty was very telling to me. You just unsealed my drink. Did you hear that? No, what happened? He went tink, I tink. Went like that? And, and then, then the like... button went boop. Nice. <laughs> That's great. It's th you haven't opened it at all yet? No! <laughs> Why did you do that? Now you can drink it. How did you do that? You're welcome. It seems like Bill Hader actually confirmed the answer to this question uh, somewhere when he was asked in an interview. And I'm not going to say which, at least until maybe after this or something. All right. Okay. Right. Yeah, okay. Can do that. Let's start. If you do that again, I'll kick your ass. <laughs> Help. Oh, no. I hope we can meet together next time in Harmony. It's a weird... We'll, uh, we'll look into that. We'll look into that now. <laughs> Where's their house? How far did they walk? Eventually I was able to control those feelings. And when they had you, I changed. I'm really proud of you. Because starting now actually worked. Maybe. Wow. Eventually. Yeah. She did a start by 64th try. <laughs> yeah. What the, are they sword fighting with that? Build an offense? I don't know. Uh, uh, yeah. Oh, I, don't, I was so worried about what was happening. Oh my gosh! Oh my God. <laughs> they had the one cold behind cold. him fell over. <laughs> <laughs> did it? Yeah. Oh, okay. Hair change and stuff. Too. <laughs> That's a great watching things face. <laughs> Sally seems happy. Yeah, she's, a, she's a waitress. Trying to look like someone else. Stuck in my phone and got pulled off. Now I got replaced that. I got replaced it. Here y'all go. Got your breakfast right here. She has to Thank act. you, Miss Emily. Mm -hmm. Now, who needs a warm up? I'll take one. I think this is real. Huh? Or a really, really in-depth future. <laughs> Vision. What are you doing right now? Cashing out. School. Guessing that's Babel. Cool. That guy's flirt game is quite high. It's got the riz. So high, you might not even see it. Cuckoo, poo, cuckoo, poo, cuckoo. Uh oh. Man, that's your tips. Hey, what do you guys want for dinner? Uh, Is that still frozen, frozen pot pie? Could have been the. And, uh, it's actually something I relate to. She's not. Maybe the... this beautiful combination of um, pragmatism, optimism, and compromise. Absolutely. I see that. No, what you said. Um, Pragmatism, optimism, compromise. And compromise. Yeah. So I, I think that's the building blocks of anyone worth of salt. I really do. And he's now on a penny. <laughs> no, he's a real success story. That a. <clears throat> He was assassinated yeah. <laughs> by an assassin. <laughs> and a lot of pennies can buy you 
socks. Um, I don't even know what pennies can buy. Says, I've seen you. Um, Look at that. Pens. An intricate part of our life, John. Mm -hmm. How's your food, John? Pretty good, right? Chicken pot pie? It's still frozen. It was literally frozen. The, the inside was still a, like a brick. A block of ice, yeah. <laughs> Marriage is like a oh. package of jelly beans. At first it's fantastic. Strawberry, watermelon, great. <laughs> and then one day you get black licorice and you think to yourself, why did I get these jelly beans? But mom, what if I love black licorice? Honey, nobody likes black licorice. <laughs> My grandfather liked black licorice. So did Melanie's. So she, I think she likes it too now. God acts on behalf of those. What did I say? Wait for him. Courage? Yeah, maybe I don't know. He's been with you. And also, also with, with you. you. <laughs> That's so sad. And may you go in love and peace. Peace be with you. Peace, peace be with you. you. It's an off Catholic <laughs> sermon. <laughs> Look at everything God's given us. Beautiful. There's nothing. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Gotta keep everything on God's land safe. There's kind of grass. And the ants. Uh, and the, the land of Canada. There's giant trees. Oh, yeah. It's nuts. You think there's trees, Dad? You know, Where? You gotta honor humans. Oh, no, no, no. Not here. You gotta honor Dad. Dad's gotta honor you. <clears throat> what about Mom? Mom? Sure. 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 Oh my gosh. She cries a lot. Oh yes. Yes she does. <laughs> you know what? Like I said. Oh yes. Happy cry. <laughs> oh yeah, there you go. Now you got it. Yeah. You gotta be careful. Be so jazzed. <laughs> have this. You're good enough to play right field. Right field. Can I ask you a question? Sure. Does your mom wear hair on top of her own hair? <laughs> <sighs> a lot of people that do that. Yeah. Well, last time she was wearing like a scarf, and I thought, I wonder if she's sick or something. But you know what Jesus did? He multiplied it all. And he fed all of them. So you did get my comforter? No. No. The, the point of the story is that God gives you exactly what you need. <clears throat> no one. Oh. I like your book. Thank you. I need that. <laughs> got that, not the comforter. He ordered he that. This kid is so. cold at night. In the desert area. It gets cold at night. Hmm. Oh no, he's going to be mad about a baseball glove. Well, he hid it from him. Oh my god. Wait, he broke gosh. his neck? This is his He's way of controlling him. him. Silently. <laughs> gonna oh, watch it, it again. No. <laughs> I broke my collarbone playing baseball. How? Stop showing him kids I, dying. But to catch like this in it. Bounced off my uh, hand, and smashed me in the collarbone. I don't want to get killed by a baseball. What? Who told you that? Daddy. Clark. Can you come lay with me? Clark! <laughs> Didn't wake up. Maybe he was just cold and needed a body. Hmm. Well, he only has an upper sheet to keep warm. <laughs> it's rattling itself apart. <laughs> Brother. Dom, yeah. 
Oh, Sally. Yeah. Is he drinking Nesquik? Yeah. Yeah. I think so. Have you ever done anything like that? What? Blast some fools? Yeah. Yeah. All I do at night is think about your mouth and my dick. Hmm. Okay. Thank you for sucking me. No, I got it. Dude, punch her face. Do something. She's gonna kill you. Okay. I'm extremely uncomfortable. As a scene. Not much of a bad boy. <laughs> Go back to your nest quick. Right? <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, girl. <laughs> you mean, like blast a fool? What's that over there? I don't know. Why don't you go check it out? Did he get a base? I don't know, it looked like a, Is it like a, a laptop or it's something. Your picture. Oh. And medals and stuff. Hmm. How'd you find this? I've been looking for this. You learn more? Well, John. I was gonna wait to tell you this. What? Right. Ooh, let's do this in the swing. <laughs> uh that wasn't war. I was a Marine. A soldier? Yeah. <clears throat> Marines are the best soldiers. Don't call me Marine. But people they call me a hero, but I don't like putting labels on things. You want to keep that in your room? You know, I found out some uh, interesting information about our buddy Abe Lincoln. Turns out. Get a bunch of Native Americans killed, <clears throat> executed. No. He also proposed to black people that they go back to Africa. He had hundreds of men killed at Shiloh and Antietam. News to me. St. Augustine. The man was addicted to bathhouses, John. Oh, he's what? Third most Googled saint, something like that. Gandhi, the original hippie, Gandhi. He, uh, wait, I read it. Gandhi, uh, what are you doing? What are you oh, yeah, his doing? wife had pneumonia. Doctors said you gotta give her penicillin, but he said no because of religious beliefs. But then when he got malaria, he said, give me the drugs. Tricky. Uh oh. What is he looking at? <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, what was that? An elephant and a dude like in a circus? Yeah, maybe. That's so loud, right? Yeah. Yeah. I think it's supposed to be so like Who's just fruit, walking right? around out here in the desert. It's the other one, honey. <laughs> oh, shit. 
It's just a hole punched in the wall. Yep. John, go get in the bathtub. You don't even know who it is. You have a peephole or nothing? I would have a peephole in the middle of the desert. No, it's up there. Why don't you look through it? <gasps> Why is no one there? Ding dong ditch would be real tough here. <laughs> it's a desert. There's someone running. The There's no shrubs to hide behind. <laughs> <clears throat> I think you're ding dong ditchers. Yeah. <coughs> There's another bag on fire again. <laughs> what does John think of this? I think it's just. I think this is just normal. He's only just now realizing because he's making friends that his stuff's not. His life's not normal. Yeah. Did your mom wear hair on her oh hair, too? Oh, my God. He, he stood, stood out, out there, there all there night? Like the Terminator. Yeah. Gene? My guess. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there he is. Holy crap, that is him. Did he show you ID? He didn't have any. He didn't come in the car. He walked up. Has he been in hiding since? What happened to his son? I don't know. Let me Google image. Missing after killer. I don't know. Both dudes are old. What is that? I don't know. Killer student? Something. Goes missing or something? Where did you come from? I've been out of the country a long time. Okay. And who did you want to speak with? I'd like to talk to the person who runs Warner Brothers. Okay, about what? Something that's come to my attention recently. And what's that? I would rather talk to him. Well, I work for him, so I think you'll need to tell me, and I'll relay it to him. I would feel more comfortable talking to him. Well, I can't do that. Why? Because I don't think you're Gene Cousineau. Why? Because he's been missing presumed dead for eight years. Hmm. If you're planning what I think you're planning, you're gonna want to talk to me. Are they doing like his life story or something? Maybe. I think what took me in was how much he reminded me of my grandson. I thought some honest work had <clears throat> shown the joys of clean living. And then... He steals from you. To a tapping little bastard. Mm-hmm. Well, hmm. you too are in. I'll find a replacement soon. Find a generation. <laughs> Gosh. And my job is to protect our boys. Mm. So. Just like I'm protecting you, John. But it's just so crazy to have gone from, like, being a tiny little kid who loves cookies to then all of a sudden, you know, the president of the United States is quoting our show. What? <laughs> oh my gosh. Do you know that we almost fired you season two? Really? Yes, because you weren't good. Barry Berkman, Google alert. You were, you were a kid, so you were bad. Are they making a movie? Who's Barry? Who's Barry? What? Biopic. Yep. Oh boy. I'm gonna have to kill Kuz now. Oh boy. Oh man. <laughs> oh shit. That didn't take long to no. revert back. Definitely a flash forward. <laughs> I would say. Seemingly. Eight years. I'm trying to think of shows that have done flash forwards like this. I mean, is it a flash forward, or are we just, like, we're not going back, right? Yeah. Well, I don't know. We could. Yeah, it's just time to go. Yeah. yeah. Like, all anime ever. It, it sure. could be a, a flash forward to, like, bury, like, if I say that that guy's going to kill me, and he doesn't kill me, and I escape, like, this is what happens, is this what I want, or should sure. I just let him kill me? Or, I get, I get what you mean. this is another world line. It could be a world line. There's no world line. Could be. What? Yeah, there is. No. The equator is a world line. Fucking idiot. It is a world line. 
All right, well, <clears throat> good old Emily mm. and Clark. Yeah. Who would have names thought match them? that they would not be good parents? Right? Uh. I'm shocked. No, I also love the idea that Sally, I mean, I'm not sure exactly where her headspace is in, but she's like, she's spiraling, of course, but she's like, I'm going to go for the bad boy, but the bad boy is secretly a good boy, and Barry is playing a good boy, is definitely a bad boy. <laughs> <laughs> sure. She's like chasing what Barry is, not who he is presenting as right now, in a way. Yeah, yeah like who he she was. left with the dude who just broke out of prison. Yeah. Who killed all these people. Yeah. Who is, like, got the kick, shit kicked out of him or whatever. Mm-hmm. Like, that's who she chose to go with. Yeah. Not with yeah. this evangelist. And I'm not saying it's necessarily like, yeah, evangelist. <laughs> I'm not saying, like, she's consciously making herself attracted to that I think it's more of a subconscious thing that's happening but it's a rough spot <laughs> it's a rough spot <clears throat> I'm just curious on the kid aspect because like Sally just felt so much disconnected from the yeah. kid which mm-hmm. is interesting or odd I don't know I mean I think she's just disconnected from that entire life and like yeah. the kid's part of that identity sure like nothing about it feels real to her yeah, she's stopped everything. doing a job she doesn't want to do, like yeah, giving up on her dreams. And in her heart, she's an actor that requires earnesty, and she there's nothing honest about what she's doing. So she's just like a big spiral. Like well, there's no uh, foundation that she's at. I guess. It's I just, mean, her acting career was all sure. based on lies as well. So this is just recycling. Well, yeah, it, it, was, it was, but before. it was like the truth you present versus what the truth is, and now the truth that per- she presents is nothing compared, or sure. nothing of her. You know, it's not even her hair she, she shows people. It's not even like the best version of herself. Yeah, lie. Yeah, there's no like Instagram filter she's putting on. It's it's a whole different account. But sure, she even does an accent. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So it's like the ultimate acting exercise. In a way. And she's failing at it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's interesting. It's certainly not funny. But I find myself kind of laughing, too, just at the absurdity of it. I don't yeah. know why I find it absurd that they're just, like, sitting there watching this little laptop, and that's how they get there. Like, oh, we're doing some research today, you know? It's absurd. Well, they also don't have, like, lights on when they're eating breakfast. Yeah. It's, it's strange. It's like a pantomime of a life. Yeah. I love that like that line where Bear is like, look at all that God has given us. <laughs> it's just a fucking a desert yeah, wasteland. Like, if I imagine like, you know, I, I, I don't know what the right word is, like an image like, you know, show me the most earth image possible. You know, this is the opposite of that. It's just nothing. Yeah. No greenery. There's no, a horizon. No That's plants. Show me the plains no one wants to live in. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, because like, there's like grass and stuff. It's not sand. Yeah. It's just empty. Yeah, and it's devoid of color. Honestly, it life. reminds me a little bit of like Wyoming, which is flat, yeah. brown grass. Sure. Not necessarily like when, where we were, because like, there was a lot of cows and stuff that yeah. like roamed and pushed it all down sure. and kind of destroyed grass. Like all those drive through states. And... There's just nothing. No, they're called flyover states because you don't even want to drive through them. Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> There's a another uh, article down below the picture. Acting teacher Gene Cousineau, who shot his son and fled to... Oh, and that's where it cuts results. off. results. Yeah, yeah, so we had the acting teacher missing after killer student escapes from prison. But there's... Yeah, okay. Who shot his son. Didn't say killed his son. No. Shot, shot his, his son, son and well, fled. Well, it looked like him in the shoulder. Yeah, it would yeah. say killed, I would imagine, if he died. Well, yeah, he probably wouldn't be showing up because he killed and yeah. killed his son. Yeah. He died for eight years with a goat. Out of the country, apparently, right? Yeah. That's what he I says. assume just to get away from Barry. Yeah. Sure. Which now, but he's now, back, and now Barry wants to get him. Well, yeah. yeah, he. Gene hears of a biopic, and he can't resist. Yeah. <laughs> film about stuff that I'm involved in. Yeah, he can't All the characters are like deeply flawed. Yeah. And Cousineau's flaw is that whatever story is about him, he wants to be the one telling it. He's a good storyteller. Well, it's, 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 it's the same thing with Sally right now. Like, Barry, I feel like, is trying to move on and do something with his son. Like, even if it's fake, he's trying to put a path behind him. Yeah. Sally is sitting there every night watching 
her rival at this point. Yeah. Yeah. TV show that's doing better than hers did. You know, yeah. like she's not moving on. She's still watching and well, Barry about it. I was going to say. Barry is also trying to present like the hero side of him. Sure, I feel like, like that's coming more now. He didn't that's... tell the story of him finding that random guy and killing him for being in the same area as his best friend getting shot. Like he was like the guy who like saved his friend. He was the corpsman who, you know, gave him aid, you know. Sure, I wouldn't tell my son that part either. No, but I, would, also... I probably wouldn't make myself the, the hero well, in that Well, he didn't do right? any of that either until the Call of Duty thing came up, I feel like, too. Well, like, I feel like he's trying to keep him separate from that. But then he did the whole thing of like, oh, what's that? He also, oh, it's a picture of you with your medals, Dad. Oh, I've been looking for that. Yeah, come on. Like, he tried to give him heroes. Like, he tried to give him Abe Lincoln and Gandhi sure. and all these things. But he's then he realizing, constantly... I guess, or... Well, Constantly think, also finding the flaws in those sure. heroes. Barry is Every the hero ultimate. has something terrible that they've done, right? Sure. Yeah. And Barry is definitely that. Yeah. I'm going to say Barry is the ultimate, like, uh, hiding in plain sight guy. Like, he doesn't have, like, an actual, I mean, until the show started, like, an actual life. He's kind of like the assassin that just goes through the motions and hides in plain sight where everybody, like, Sally can't do that. Like, she needs attention. She can't hide in plain sight like he can. So, I think it's kind of interesting like Barry seems almost content because he, he's never known anything else than what he's doing right here or Sally can't take it she can't stand it I think it's really interesting I think it's a cool like juxtaposition for this too it's an interesting dynamic for two very dissimilar people to try to hide together yeah because <clears throat> he's you know, like he seems okay but like once they he got rattled with the ding dong ditcher and he just stood up he there just yeah around. <laughs> you know, like, you, like there's a crack. Not even a crack. I guess it's just his actual face. I don't know if he seems okay. Like, he sees his son's baseball glove and he's showing him all these videos of people dying. Like, well, when I say okay, I mean that's like his. That's his constant. That's been his life his whole, almost his entire life, right? Like, he's okay in that this seems normal to him. Yeah. Or he he doesn't feel uncomfortable in the situation because it's a situation he's been in, and can live that way. I don't like. His son obviously can't. He's breaking through those those constrictions. And then I'm Sally absolutely is destroying herself. Curious on what Barry's goal is with all that. Like, is he trying to prevent him from going and being with other people? Is he is Barry afraid of baseball killing his son? Or, so he doesn't want his son to play like, baseball? Like, why is he showing him that? Like, why does he want to deter him from playing baseball? Yeah, does he not want, like, him to make friends so they see Barry, and, like, Barry and Ellie has to kill them? Yeah, that's kind of what I thought. Yeah. Like, he's trying to isolate the entire family, and unfortunately he's trying to, that means the son doesn't get into yeah. social uh, interaction. He's much. just trying to keep them safe from the truth of who they are. And by doing that, he's just giving the kid yeah. not a great life. Yeah. I almost feel like it's not really their kid. You think they just took him? I don't know. Well, I don't know if Kidnapped him or adopted him or what? I'm not sure. Just... The, the, the vast disconnect that Sally has with him and stuff just seems so weird. I just can't imagine the process of I don't think it's that them weird. going. You, you don't can think have it's very weird. You can that have post- she had this. Yeah, a lot of unfortunately that that's completely, that's completely kind of a common. Disconnected. Well, not common. And they have fake names, so they gave birth where and have I mean, this kid with. There are people that have now. postpartum depression and it never goes away. That I mean, does, that's, that's not related I mean, to the second part of what I'm saying, though. Sure. Yeah, no, I get you. But I'm just saying like social security number. Did they have a social security number? Yeah, I, I, don't, I don't know. It's easier to steal a kid, I think, than for them to maybe go through yeah, that whole process. Sure, but like, I don't think that it eliminates the possibility that she's just stuck in that that mindset and it has nothing to do with the other I just part don't see them having a kid. Like, Sure, well, for me, it's the timeline. Like, It's eight years, but he seems older than eight. Yeah, it just it, things just don't add up, and I feel like it's not their kid. Mm-hmm. Two plus two adds up, though, which is what, him teach, what, what he's teaching him. Which seems, he seems a little old for to be learning two plus two. Two plus two. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, he does. <laughs> He's playing baseball. <laughs> so, I don't know. Just something seems weird with the whole situation, which is why, like, some of it seems like, is it all just a weird vision and it's not real? Or is it... I don't know. We haven't seen anything in this episode that was, like, clearly a, they're seeing things. Yeah. No, not like before where, like, he would, like, look and it turn mm-hmm. into something else or, or whatever. Right, because she was seeing uh, the one dude she killed. Sure. If it was a vision, it would be very strange to she... have scenes without Barry in them. I mean, she's having visions too, though. 
I yeah. mean, well, they wouldn't have. This, would they have she the same never. Vision? She never had visions. She was being haunted by yeah. a guy she killed. Yeah. Yeah, you know I'm seeing him. It's yeah. a vision. It's not a. It's not a vision. That's it's a, a vision. I mean, it's, seeing a ghost isn't a vision. That's not a vision. <laughs> it's in your vision. Well, it's a vision. It's not there. I, I think. I, I it think it's a, a difference of like an all-encompassing experience mm -hmm. or a hallucination that is a part of the real world. I I would say she that what she's seen is more of a hallucination from her killing a man and her not for, like, fucking with her. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. But she's not like having a vision like. Barry's been hit in the head so many times, he's seeing other shit on the beach because he's dying of poison and he's, he's seen all this stuff. I mean, he saw ghosts, I guess, there too, but he like went somewhere else and did his other stuff. I think she's just being haunted by that. I don't think yeah. she's like. She I think he had sense. like a full blown mm -hmm. sensory hallucination. Yeah. And she's just having like trauma like a PTSD and guilt kind of like, and everything of the guy that she killed. They're similar, but I think they're on different. Spectrum. They're on different planes yeah. of like severity. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> like he was poisoned, he was an inch from death, and she is she was doing fairly well with her yeah. life and she was just not dealing with what she had done. Like maybe they're driving somewhere and one of them's asleep and this is all a big dream they're having. But it's a very but which one's specific having a dream? dream from two different people, and I don't know how you'd do that. Yeah, yeah like we saw that one precise. dream that Barry had of their future together. Yeah, but that was just Barry. Like, yeah. it would be so weird if this was a, like, yeah. joint venture if, vision. If Barry was... Because they're both going through separate things yeah. different. It'd be so codependent, though. If Barry was <laughs> dreaming this, and then he's dreaming of his wife going in the bathroom and choking this guy, and, and he's not even involved in it at all, all of it seems really weird. Usually it's more of how do you know the your perspective you or something, typically, I think he'd have. So, I don't know. I, yeah. I imagine we just went eight years in the future, yeah. but the kid just doesn't seem to gel with it all to me. Until Barry saw yeah. that glove, I really thought that kid was just in His mind. John's mind. Mm -hmm. was... Oh, you mean the kid out in the farm? Yeah. Oh, you thought that kid, kid was fake? What about all the other kids? <laughs> like, <laughs> they were all throwing baseballs. You're like, they're all fake. They don't have a feel. Like, they do have a feel. It's just a well, barren wasteland out it, there. It was interesting the way, like, the, sh the shot of them tossing the ball back and forth was just one of them in the shot at a time. Yeah. And the ball was going back, and then it was cutting to that bit of the conversation. It was like that Pixar chess match. Yeah. yeah. So, like, it could have just been him playing both characters, of like, pretending that he is his friend as well. Yeah, I guess. Like, throwing the ball to the empty field, going a, over there. But now he has a glove. Yeah, yeah but now he has yeah. a glove. <laughs> So I don't know. I'm not sure. Seems weird. Maybe he killed that kid and took it from him. I'm pretty sure everything that we see, I'm like 99.9% .9 sure everything we see is real and is eight years in the future. But I could grant, like, it does seem like the kid's a little older than eight to me. But that could just be a casting thing so that we have a more competent actor Maybe. playing it. So I don't know. Yeah. I just don't think it's your kid. It could be true, too. They could have... Adopted? No, what if they adopted? Stolen they a kid. A kid. I think they stole a kid more likely than adopted. I think it's harder to adopt. It's, the most likely solution is that they gave birth in that bathtub they're hiding in. Sure. It's like, I feel like the most likely thing. And like, he has a name, but he has no social security number. He has no nothing. Yeah. It's, yeah, I mean, I don't think he's going to school if he's being taught 2 plus 2 equals 4 at however old he definitely is. Definitely not. Yeah. yeah, and I don't know how they're getting money to do, unless he just has his surplus of assassin money built up. I mean, Thanks maybe uh, they like order very, everything online. They never go to town, and except it's very low costs. Except you know, her, who has a job. Yeah. Yeah. Sure, yeah. I don't know if she's making enough money for them to. They bought a prefab house. <laughs> yep, <laughs> in the middle of the desert for like punch a hole in a wall, put a put a gun, put a gun in in there. It. Yeah, I know it's very nice for a prefab house. So I don't know. It's weird. All right. Well, you guys want to jump with some Q and A's? Sure. No. Mm, no one says. <laughs> All right, Ray is going to start out and say, that truly may have been the most depressing 30 minutes of television I've ever witnessed. You think John's going to grow up to be a killer or a crackhead? <laughs> also, I, yes, because of his upbringing and geographical location, those are the only two options I see for him. Just, killer or crackhead. Just the fact that he's, like, he's divorced from society yeah. by his, his psychotic parents mm -hmm. who believe the best way of keeping him safe is to show him very graphic videos of other children dying mm. in completely ordinary ways. 
kid breaks neck. That like one kid, how did he break his neck running into the fence? He, he hit the fence and then he broke his neck. Yeah. yeah. Either landing on it or it just he snapped I, it I back. Think, Which is way more. I think there was a rail on the uh, on the batting cage thing that was like head level, and he was running like this, and he just like right into it. You hit with the right velocity and momentum and angle. angle you can break your neck from standing. Sure. Well, from falling, standing from falling. <laughs> Not just like, ah! <laughs> but but sometimes, I'm, sure, I'm sure it's possible. Sometimes yeah. I just go like this. This kid might be okay. Brendan Fraser was okay. Brendan Fraser? What? what? Blast from the past. The brass, blast from the past. That's so a character, Rick. Yeah, I think Brendan. This is also a character. <laughs> what are you talking about? Yep. You're saying Brendan Fraser, the real person, I turned out okay. In that, movie. <laughs> that one Q&A there, instead of two options, that could just be one option. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Why not both? Yeah, it's just, it's just unemployed gosh. serial killer. No, no, a killer. <laughs> killer. <laughs> oh. I think meth is much more likely. A what? I think kid. meth is much more likely. Meth. I mean, we've seen Breaking Bad. That happened in the desert. So Dan has a Q and A. Says it seems. Uh, ever since the last two episodes of season three, there has been a minor yet growing movement not satisfied with the show. It isn't a comedy anymore. What are you guys? Well, excuse me. What are your guys' thoughts on this? I think that despite the depression, these last two seasons have been the funniest. It's a uh, dark comedy, yeah. and the darker you go, the more twisted your brain has to be to find it funny. Yeah. I think him standing out all night is funny. Yeah, but it's also very dark. There, I mean, there's a. I found a lot of humor. <laughs> yeah, there's a hole punched in the wall with a gun in it. <laughs> yeah. The 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 silly video of the kid, like, I feel like there's a there's a humorous aspect to him cutting immediately to look at these videos, mm -hmm. and this kid just runs into a fence and he's dead. Yeah, and it's like and he what <laughs> hit by a line drive and he's dead. <laughs> yeah, and like this is what he's doing. Like it's sad, depressing, but there's also there can be a dark humor aspect twist in there, but. Sometimes it doesn't land with everybody. Yeah. It just depends. And mm -hmm. it depends how dark your humor can go. Like, I think peak Barry humor was probably, like, Lily, right? Mm -hmm. Him fighting with that rabid child. <laughs> Gene happen. getting the shit kicked out of him in the hotel room while Barry's outside is the first thing that comes to mind. Yeah. That was very funny. I... I always laughed real hard when Fuchs convinced that guy that Angel's just asked to kill himself. <laughs> <laughs> like, that's the dark comedy for me. He's the raven. Yeah. <laughs> what did you do? Just talk to him. Uh, Logan Britton says, That straight up might have been the most uncomfortable episode of Barry for me. What thing have you guys watched that made you the most uncomfortable? Mine is probably Joker, which is a movie I love, but made me so uncomfortable I got itchy. Clockwork Orange mm. comes to mind. Yes. Uh, American Psycho was very uncomfortable to watch, but in a good way. Um, Full Metal Jacket. Yeah, definitely. You ever just watch the first half of Full Metal Jacket? Be like, I'll watch the second half some other time. It's a completely different movie. <laughs> <laughs> every, every, every I'll yeah. watch the second half later. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, it really does feel like just two separate movies. Yeah. Sure. With the same characters in them. When you've been uncomfortable, like at the reaction table, can you think of anything like that? At the reaction table? Yeah. Samurai Cop. Samurai Cop. The Room. I mean, they just don't make any sense. <laughs> I, I mean, know. it's a different level of dif discomfort. <laughs> it's amazing how much right? more sense The Room makes after watching Samurai Cop. Because at least it, like, has it puts rules. it in perspective. You know? <laughs> <laughs> sure, that guy gets recast. Yeah. But you still understand who it is. Yeah. Can't think of too much. I remember watching Game of Thrones with a buddy at one point. He's like, all right, I'm going to leave. I'm like, oh, you don't want to watch? He's like, if I want to watch soft porn porn with oh, a bunch of guys, yeah. I'd leave. I'm like, I'd watch something else. He was a very religious <laughs> man sometimes. <laughs> it wasn't, it wasn't, it wasn't for them, that. so they, they left. So I knew they felt uncomfortable. Oh, yeah. Oh, no, I had, a, I had a relative of mine email me to talk about how Game of Thrones was literally the devil, and here's why. And I had an uncomfortable conversation where I'm like, this is a little silly. <laughs> the, the devil. The devil. Like, literally evil trying to destroy our very fabric of our society. It worked. 
Look at society, Eric. Look what happened. Season Since eight. Then. Season eight. Yeah, I was going to say, it. season eight. <laughs> season eight destroyed society for a while. He's right. They should have done season eight better. We'd yeah. have society be together. Uh-huh. Django. Uh, All Hail the Spectre says, well, it looks like my theory was right about it being a time skip into the future, uh, about eight years to be exact. Now I'm wondering how... What? <laughs> Sorry. About eight years to be exact sounded oh, yeah. funny. <laughs> <laughs> now I'm wondering how old is John, because it would give us an idea of when in the timeline Barry and Sally decided to have a child. A child. Yeah, I don't know. Well, like, if like, it's been eight years, that kid can't be eight years old. He must be closer to seven. Yeah, sure. Which he's not. Like, he's definitely older than Dana Radcliffe and the first Harry Potter, who was 11. That's how I do all my <laughs> stuff. He's, old, he's older than 11? Let me see the kid. I want to see the kid. He, he doesn't, seem, he he doesn't seem, seem older than 11. You don't think so? I don't think so. I would say more like 9 I'd or say, 10. I'd say 11. You think? How old's Leon? 13. Yeah, I don't think he's... Coulson. 11. Coulson is 10. Evie's 9. Mm-hmm. I could see him being Coulson's 8. I think he looks older than Evie. Mm-hmm. I'm seeing like 9, 10. I'm seeing 12. You think? 12. It's poison, Evie. No. I don't think so. <laughs> I mean, it's different for everybody. I mean, well, but also, just what you do is you hire an older kid and then you age him down. Well, I bet sure. he's 30. <laughs> <laughs> what? That's a little overboard. <laughs> Try to get as close as he can without going over. <laughs> How old was Daniel LaRusso in Cardi Kid 3? He was like 30, right? Yeah, oh yeah, 100%. In 3? He was pretty old in 3, yeah. <laughs> Wasn't that like 10 years later? Also? Like in... <sighs> no, no, in universe it wasn't that No, no I mean after. like between like the second and third movie. Wasn't it like 10 years after the second I movie? I think it was a couple years. years. Was it only a couple yeah. years? Maybe two. Hmm. I think... I don't know. I haven't even seen it. I know. <laughs> Damn shame. All Hell Inspector also says, now that we know eight years have passed in time, we know that the karate girl is currently a teenager. <gasps> she might be further in her training than she has been before. She can drive. It's too much say, for she's Barry like, to handle with it. She's like again. 20 now. <laughs> <laughs> she can return for vengeance. Yeah. <laughs> He's worried about the Chechens and the FBI, but he really should be worried about... <sighs> about Lily. What's like... No, who Hank up to eight years later? He's probably like a Chris fully realized and, boss yeah. now. Yeah, he's probably just Chechens. like Scarface. Yeah, like he has no heart left. His heart died. Yeah, mm. I don't he's know how old the kid buried is. in that silo. Yeah, I don't know how old the kid is, but he was in Quiet Place Part Two. You mean yep. the actor? Yeah. Oh, uh, he was the kid with the truck. That makes sense. Huh? He was the kid with the truck. The kid had a truck. Yeah. He made Quiet Place Part Two. Uh, he was Emmett's son. I don't remember who Emmett was. I think, I think that was, uh... Uh, yes. That was, yeah? Emmett. Emmett is, uh... John Krasinski. Peaky Blinders. Killian Murphy. Killian Murphy? Yeah, mm-hmm. I believe that is Emmett. Okay. Killian Let's do a poll. How old's this kid? How old's this kid? <laughs> How old's this kid? I'm saying, like, nine or uh, ten. I mean, we could do the poll and say, <laughs> is this kid theirs? <clears throat> like, biologically? Sure. Yeah, Maybe. Like Where'd they get the kid? They made him. They stole him. I mean, make it. They wish right. on him from right. a genie. <laughs> <laughs> that they found in this desert. It's, they made, made him, him, stole him, adopted him. Imaginary. Bought him. He, I don't think he's imaginary. We can throw that in if you want. He can't be imaginary. There's no way two people are imagining this kid. I don't think the mom would wake up from Barry's delusion of a child. Like... Wake up! I don't want to take care of your imaginary son! I'll cuddle with him in bed. <laughs> Could be like a group hallucination like, thing. Did, when he said, you and John go wait in the bathtub, did she just get in there by herself? You know? And Barry's like, oh, good. Thank you. I don't know. Seems weird. It does seem weird. I think there's really a kid there. I would there. say it's 100% wrong, Yeah, I can't do that. I have to go 99.9%. So, I think there's really... You have to leave a, there's 100% a kid there. <laughs> I just don't know if it's their kid that they <clears throat> created. I think they borrowed him. Stole or borrowed. I don't think they have a right to well, have him. Well, they borrowed him until they get caught. <laughs> That's stealing! <laughs> <laughs> you can't just keep someone else's mower in your garage until you get caught. Oh, shit. Well, then here's your wallet back. 
<laughs> Damn it. Get better at that. I don't really have anything else for a poll. So I do that. From whence this came comes. And my only other one would be does Gene die? Did Gene kill his son? No. Because sometimes headlines say, this person shot this person, and they did die. Most of the time it says, they killed this person. And then in the article they explain how. But, I mean, I'm just giving you something else. I'm not saying that that's better or good at all. Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> I have nothing else. The boy's fine. <laughs> <All right. laughs> Guys, thank you very much for watching this episode of Barry. Let us know what you thought of the episode in the comments down below. You can check out the Patreon poll at patreon.com slash blindleave. And also, you can check out the full-length reaction if you so I'm want to check that out. We'll see you guys okay. back here next week. We have lots of questions. Bye-bye. No.